everyone, welcome to another edition of UWC Online. We are just a few weeks away from the biggest event in UWC Online history, Ascension to Greatness 2015. And right here, we're starting things off with a quarterfinal matchup in the Horizon Cup Tournament. One of these men, oh, nice headlock takeover. One of these men will advance to Ascension to Greatness in the semifinals and compete for an opportunity at ultimate glory to be the third Horizon Cup Tournament Champion. Ooh! Paintbrushes TJ. Of course, TJ stands short for Tornado Jones. The crowd here loves chanting TJ. Cecil Cerveza. Cecil Cerveza, of course, normally we see him aligned with Bradley Dupree. It's it's really weird not seeing Bradley Dupree out here at ringside with his charge. Shoves him off into the corner now. Shoulder block takedown. Cecil Cerveza loves showboating there. Hits off the ropes, dives over him. Going for a hip toss there, but Cecil's got the weight advantage. Lifts him up, lands on his feet. Wait a minute, takes him over, arm drag. Shoves him off into the ropes. Bounces off the other side. Nice leapfrog attempt there. Cecil with the clothesline. Whips around him. Takes him over with another inverted arm drag. Spins around with a cyclone. Slipped off the ropes there. It has been raining outside. There's probably a lot of moisture in the air. Front face lock applied. Either one of these men would love the opportunity to go on to Ascension to Greatness and fight for the right to be Horizon Cup Tournament Champion, Tilt-A-Whirl Backbreaker. We're going to have more tournament action coming up later in the broadcast. This is going to be a fantastic night of action. Variation of a rear chin lock applied now by Cecil Cerveza. Crowd here at the battle zone with chance of you can't wrestle. Picking Tornado Jones back up. Snapmare takeover into a kick. What a victory this could mean for Tornado Jones who's had quite a season here at UWC Online, quite a year, gaining the most popular, one of the most popular fan bases that we've ever seen. He defeated Jimmy Carrot two times, a former champion. Wait a minute, rolls him up into a pin attempt here. Only a two count. Cecil back on the attack. But Cecil Cerveza is also looking front face lock, could be going for a vertical suplex. Lifts him up. Tornado Jones counters out of that one with a knee to the face, ducks under the clothesline attempt. Waist lock. Rolls him back into a pin. Only a two count, slips right off of him. Kick to the midsection. Fast paced action going on here. Oh! Wicked neck breaker there. And look at the glee on Cecil Cerveza's face. He's happy over what he did into a pin. Only a two count. Cecil's got to be looking at some sort of redemption. Of course, last season, Cecil Cerveza was able to say he won the United Wrestling Coalition Championship, even though the championship reign lasted one month. But ever since that time, he's never really been able to get himself back on track. He's never really been able to get back to that plateau. The neck vice. All that pressure being added right down onto the spine and the neck area of Tornado Jones. Shots to the gut. Shoves him off into the ropes now. Ducks under the lariat. Ducks the back elbow. Sleeper hold. Not usual you would see somebody of Cecil Cerveza's size locking a sleeper hold on the man the size of Tornado Jones, but it appears to be working. He does have the power advantage here to cut the blood flow off to the brain. Darren Drifter, the referee, checking to make sure. That's 
two. He just needs one more. Oh, but he's not gonna get it. Tornado Jones fighting back. He counters out of it with a jawbreaker. Crowd here at the Battle Zone chanting TJ in honor of Tornado Jones. Shows him into the corner. Rolling elbow. And what's Cecil gonna go for here? He's setting up for something. Slithering back into that corner. He's revved up to deliver something. Boot to the face by Tornado Jones. Comes in again, runs into another one. Wait a minute. Comes off, going for a Tornado DDT, but Cecil, the power on him, picks him up, tries to nip him to the outside. Tornado Jones trying to fight off here. Oh! Kick to the face! Wait a second, springboard's in. Oh, he was gonna go for that springboard face buster, but Cecil caught him. Powerbomb attempt, he gets out of it in the nick of time. He took the buckle to the chest. Tornado Jones trying to regain his balance, comes running in, drop kick to the face. Gonna do it again, hits the double drop kick. Oh, he's calling for a triple. Here it goes. Simultaneous drop kicks in the corner on Cecil Cerveza. Counters out of the Lariat. Hooks him. Goes up. Cecil counters out of it. Goes for that kick right to the shin. He's looking to hit the buzzsaw. He hits it and it's over. Ducks under the buzzsaw kick. Ducks underneath the Lariat again. Rolls back. Going for the spinning head scissors into the corner. The referee gets out of the way just in time. Wait a minute, he hooks him one more time, stands up, down to the mat, could have it here! That's it! Oh, wow! Ascension of Greatness, he's going to battle for the right to be Horizon Cup Tournament Champion. Cecil Cerveza is out of this tournament. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world-class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. <laughs> This is going to be a fantastic matchup here between two men who have both been decorated champions here in UWC's past. Wait a second. Oh my gosh! Bo Sawyer starting this one off, just clocking Jason V with that overhand punch, and now he's working over him in the corner. What in the. Mike Underwood, the referee, had to ring the bell there to start this match out. Jason V has not even got back to his feet. Bo Sawyer is stomping a mud hole and walking it dry. I can't believe this. For the past several weeks, we've seen Bo Sawyer been in the company of Jimmy Carrot. Carrot says he's taking Bo under his wing. He's going to turn him back into the monster that he used to be. Double axe hand on the back. Jason V has not gotten any offense since this match started. I can't believe, oh! Huge chop there by Bo Sawyer. One of these men will advance to the semifinals at Ascension to Greatness and join Tornado Jones, who we just saw make it to the semifinals. Bo Sawyer, 
my gosh, I've never seen Bo Sawyer this crazy before. Jason V is almost out of oh! He gets a shot, but he's right back down on the mat. And that's almost like that lit the fire. That lit the fuse on Bo Sawyer, and now he's just going back over him again. Lifting it back up. Oh, whoa. Oh. Head first into the second turnbuckle. Jason, he's got to be out. He's barely moving. I... The viciousness of Bo Sawyer. Jason V, one of the most decorated individuals here in the United Wrestling Coalition, former multiple time UWC champion. Oh my gosh. Jason V has got to find an opening here. That is three shoulders right to the gut. Running into the corner with a running European uppercut. The crowd here at the battle zone are sitting in. They can't believe what they're seeing. They're stunned. Jason V gets a knee up, but Bo right back on the offensive again. Power slam. Two. Only a two count. Don't forget, it was just a few years ago during the first Horizon Cup tournament that Bo Sawyer made it all the way to the semifinals. Two years ago, he was not able to achieve victory on that night. It was Travis Weir that ended up winning the tournament. But Bo tasted it, and he wants to get back there. Oh, boot, the boot! He just hit the boot to the face! But Bo's not down! Shot to the face! Oh my gosh, he's going for saw five. Oh wow. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and this is the semi-finals and ascension of greatness. Bo Sawyer. Bo Sawyer makes academic work out of Jason V here tonight. This is not something we anticipated seeing happen. I... I have never seen Bo Sawyer this hungry for something in my life. We may need to get some medical attention out here for Jason V. He is not moving after taking that soft five, taking that entire beating. Bo Sawyer will advance to the semifinals now at Ascension of Greatness. I'm stunned. I can't believe what I've seen. I... Hey everybody, I'm Rocket Grunt Josh, and welcome back to my Until Dawn Minecraft Story Mode Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. Live and learn. Live and learn, guys. Is Sanic? Sanic Bursley is straight up MLG Pro. No, he's not okay. He's pretty halved. He's been halved pretty bad. So, with that, I will see everybody next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Okay, fans, all of this is very strange right now. The Warden is back out here in front of us. We haven't seen him in a number of weeks. Of course, last week we saw Phage. Last week, Phage was out here. He lost to... Alexander S. Kirk, and then after the match, Phage just kind of went nuts. He kind of went psycho, and you could tell it was not Phage that came out on the other side. Now we see the Warden is back here. I don't understand what's going on here, but the Warden is answering the challenge right now of Harker Dirge. Something strange is going on, and I just don't understand what. But we got ourselves a good old-fashioned fight in our hands right now. Both these men starting off trading fisticuffs back and forth. Harker Dirge is a former United Wrestling Coalition champion. He held that championship on a number of different occasions for quite some time. I believe he possibly holds the record around here for holding the title. Side headlock applied now by Harker Dirge. Backs him into the ropes. Brings up that knee right to the gut. Oh! Overhand clubbing blow to the back. Gives him a second one. And a third one went for the triple. Double axe handle right to the shoulder now. The warden, I'm, I'm still perplexed over what I'm seeing. Is he Phage? Is he the warden? What's going on here? Big boot by Harker Dirge. Drives the elbow right to the face. Two. Only gets a two count out of it. Overhand blow. We have seen so much happen on this edition of EWC Online. We witnessed both Tornado Jones and Bo Sawyer advance into the semifinals of the Horizon Cup Tournament swinging neckbreaker. Could have it. Only a two count. Both men advanced into the semifinals of the Horizon Cup Tournament to take place at Ascension to Greatness. On the next edition, we'll see some more quarterfinal matches. Two guys will be joining them at Ascension to Greatness. Boot to the midsection by Harker Dirge, now on the warden. There's a shot to the face. Irish whips him into the ropes now. Hits him with the back elbow that causes the warden to stumble into the ropes. Harker trying to pull him off, but the warden's hanging onto that top rope. Referee Mike Underwood trying to get Harker to break it up and the Warden brings his leg up right between, right between the pins. Look at the Warden now, he's slinking around the ring like a shark that smells blood in the water. Shot to the face. And now going back to underhanded tactics, he's squeezing the man's face. He is squeezing Harker Dirge's face. That vicious claw maneuver. Harker Dirge looks like he's almost out. Gets a shoulder up. Harker fighting back now. Over the last several weeks, Harker has been issuing this open challenge. He has gained numerous victories over several different opponents. Blow to the back there. The Warden looks to try and be the one man to stop Harker Dirge's momentum here he's built up over the last several weeks. Harker comes stumbling out of the corner now. Look at the power on the Warden as he lifts him up into a body slam. Shoulders down. Still only gets a two count. Fans at the battle zone cheering on for Harker Dirge. And now he's going back to work on that neck. Harker trying to feed off the electricity and the energy being built up and provided by these fans at the battle zone. But Warden cuts him off. One place you normally do not see Harker Dirge is lying flat on his back on the mat. And he just took a vicious elbow drop. Hits him with another one. The Warden is almost, it's almost like he's just playing with Harker Dirge here. 
elbow forearm combination. Could have it. Two count. Variation of a rear chin lock applied. Warden might be looking to gain the submission victory. It's gonna take a lot to get someone like Harker Dirge to give up or to submit in a match. Harker trying to fight back. He's up to one knee. Back up to both feet. Shot from the gut. Shoves him off into the ropes. Up and over with a back body drop. Warden is out. He is dazed and confused. Harker's on one knee. Harker cuts him off with that shot to the gut. Sinks in a second one. Adds the third. Hits the ropes. Running knee to the face. Goes for another. Ducks under the lariat attempt. Flying shoulder block. Could have it here. Still only a two count. Warden got a little bit of fight left in him. The crowd here in Georgetown, Illinois comes alive once again. Cutting off the eardrums. Irish whip out of the corner into the opposite corner. Misses with the splash. Spine buster. Lands into a pin attempt here. Oh, and the warden just about got the victory. Harker gets his shoulder up right in the nick of time. Harker having to use the ropes to help him gain his leverage back in the matchup. Butt of that fist right on the jaw. Counters the back body drop attempt. Wardens just gets him with another one and it sends him all the way to the outside. Harker Dirge on the outside of the ring, but the Warden is distracting the ref. The Warden has a hold of the referee. What's going on here? I... The Warden has the referee. Harker Dirge just found something under the ring. I... Is that Phage's mask? Is that the mask of Phage in the ring? Harker pulled out from underneath the ring. The Warden sees it. That's exactly what it is. I told you this weird deal going on over the last few weeks between Phage and the Warden and Phage and the Warden. Harker Dirge is taking advantage of that. He is arguing with the mask. The Warden is arguing with Phage. And... He's taking his eyes off the ball and Harker Dirge is ready to capitalize on it. Here he comes. Spear. Dirge gains the pinfall victory after utilizing Phage in the matchup. What is going on between the Warden and Phage? Parker Dirge able to capitalize, gain a victory here tonight on this edition of UWC Online. But we're going to have to get some answers on this deal between Phage and the Warden. we got to figure out what's going on between these two. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to this broadcast of UWC Online. Stay tuned. More UWC Online is on the way. We're just a few weeks away from ascension to greatness.